So today I have a new type of dragon fruit to share. So this is the Israeli yellow pataya. It has a few different names. Um, one of them is the golden dragon and golden pataya is another. So named because it's cousin, um, the Ecuador Pelora uh, yellow dragon fruit uh, over in Central America already has the, <laughs> the name yellow dragon fruit, but that one has spines on it and it's generally smaller and has like a different consistency to the flesh inside. Um, and obviously this one looks much more different. It's um, apparently, and I, I just didn't know this, it's a clone of um, other red dragon fruits. It was developed, this variety was developed at a university. And uh, I actually got to try this already at the grocery store. Um, someone from the produce let me try some of it and it has, uh, at least the one I tried, like a little bit of a tart aspect to it, um, but is at the same time, you know, has that classic dragon fruit flavor where it's kind of mellow and the, the, it is a white, uh, white fleshed variety inside. Um, so I'll cut up one of these and see if it's got that same tartness that I had when I was at the store. All right, so here's the inside. It doesn't really smell like much, but I'll dig in and see what we got flavor-wise. All right, here we go. This one is similar to the one I had at the store, but it's not quite the same. It's it's mellow. It's got flavor, but it's not not tasteless like some other dragon fruits I've had, unfortunately. So this one is good, and you know, cactus fruits are pretty refreshing when you have them chilled first. It's got a hint of that tartness. It's not quite there. I have heard that the best time to eat dragon fruits is when they're fresh cut from the, the plant and they, they're they gonna be best chilled. So ideally you will chill it right after it is cut and then enjoy it the same day. And I've had this one for maybe a, a day or two before I got to do this. So I, I wonder if... I wonder if that's affecting the flavor, but who knows. It's still very good, still quite refreshing. has a very mellow flavor, like many other dragon fruits. Um, not, not tasteless, like I've said. And I, I've mentioned it in previous videos, but uh, there is such a range of uh, flavor profiles in dragon fruit. Um, things like cotton candy and like strawberry. Um, it's not gonna be a one-to-one, -one, but very reminiscent of those flavor notes and profiles. This one does have like some fruity notes to it. And it's, it's not quite getting to that tartness that I had from the, the very fresh one at the store. These are very good. Oh wait, the other side there had a 
stronger flavor. I just got scooped out some from the other side of the fruit. And it's not, not that sweet. It's kind of like a moderate sweetness. There are much sweeter dragon fruits. But this is a solid, solid one. I've been disappointed by store-bought dragon fruits in the past, but I would, I would get these again. I think the grower is doing something right with this one. And I had no idea that this... It's funny because when I was researching um, the Ecuador Prolora yellow dragon fruit, the pictures of this one would come up. And I'm like, that's weird. Why is there a yellow one of... Like a different, uh, this one looks very different from the yellow, uh, the Ecuador Pelora. Sorry, it's tripping over my words. And so for a little while, I thought that this wasn't real and somebody had like just changed the color on it. And, um, because it looks very similar to like red dragon fruits. And it makes sense now that I know know about its development it is a clone of red dragon fruits so that's interesting but anyway now i'm starting to ramble but this was a, a pretty neat find and they so I, I work at a grocery store so that's why i can get a lot of these fruits um all the time and I just you know check through the produce section and see if they've got anything interesting that day and sometimes things like this don't make it to the next day they get will they'll get like a couple boxes a couple cases of certain fruits and I check back the next day and there were no more of these um, yellow or golden dragon fruits they're just gone and it's interesting, like if you are searching for fruits like this, like rare fruits at grocery stores, they're not going to last. Um, because I think a lot of growers often don't have like a lot of trees or plants established for these rare varieties. They're focusing on um, like the more well-known stuff that uh, consumers uh, go for, you know, like the classic apples or whatever it is. So it's neat to find these things at the store outside of, you know, say a farmer's market where you might be more likely to find rare things like this. But at the same time, they'll only last on the shelf like a day or two because it's different, it's new, so people grab it and it's gone. So, you know... <laughs> You might not be able to find things like this at a proper grocery store all the time because it'll only be available, you know, one or two days out of who knows how long. And this is gone <laughs> because they got a small case of it. Anyway, rambling again. So interesting find, interesting story about it. Taste is, taste is okay. And it's a, another dragon fruit that I'll have tried. So, yeah. <laughs>